always do. Okay, perfect. Good morning, guys. I'm Julie big gold belt media hello welcome I, I i'm so excited to meet all of you right now like i'm just like so thrilled sorry oh, it's, it's, it's a so pleasure to you. chat yes and, and i'm in california time so the fact that at 6 30 a.m i'm excited like this <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much and congratulations on outlander season seven i am so excited for all of you that yeah. is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go ahead and just get started. So David, let's start with you. Lord John Gray. We all love Lord John Gray. He's such an amazing character and you portray him so beautifully. Um, let's be honest. He's been carrying a torch for a certain character, uh, one James Fraser, for such a long time. Such a long time. <laughs> um, decades long. That is like a bonfire. This point. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you're right. It's a bonfire. At this point, there's a giant fire. That's all we'll say. It's not like smoke. On this, like, <laughs> on my, he doesn't seem, David just doesn't seem to be picking up on it. Not at all. So do you think it's possible for him to actually, you know, love again or concurrently with someone else, uh, you know, as you know, when he's carrying this unrequited love for Jamie, do you hope he moves on? That's like a great start to a pop song or something, doesn't it? Can, he, <laughs> can Lord John love again? I want to break out into song. I can see him for that. Yeah. 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 Q Whitney Houston or something. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Like I look, we have to hold out hope for our characters that they can find love. This show is about love and 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 hope as much as it is about like drama and conflict and, and the things that, you know, make well, there's all kinds of colours here. And and um Lord John, yeah, he has uh, an unrequited love for Jamie that mm -hmm. um, I think propels him through has propelled him this far through Outlander. Um, right. But I think we're going to start to see a little bit of testing of that that um, thing that's propelled him this far. Um, certainly the relationship changes a lot this season. Uh, and uh, I was going to say for better or for worse, much like a marriage. Um, <laughs> he kind of hits his, his low point there. He, he mm -hmm. definitely hits a low point this season. And uh, Jamie Fraser's not quite the... Uh, the man that he thought he was or didn't doesn't hold the starry eyes for Lord John as much as he used to um, now that they're on opposite sides of the war and some other kind of complications come in between and uh, mostly uh, some of the, one of those complications is of course William yeah uh, now a, a grown man very proud of Ooh, yeah. son <laughs> nice that's what we do on the show <laughs> <laughs> um, he's done a great job he's done a great job really. he's doing great but yeah that, that's certainly going to be one of the major points of conflict for us mm -hmm. absolutely well since we're on the subject of relationships john you ian has gone through his ups and downs when it's come to love and this Life, season um, just a little just a little um this season he's gonna be involved in a in a love triangle with one of these people that's sitting near you right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, Ian has been, uh, he's been through the ringer when it comes to love. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, as I said, hope is the last to die. So he is ready for a new adventure, I think. <laughs> Um, and destiny steps in in the form of really William, yeah, and um, unites him with this this beautiful woman, um, and there's just that immediate crackle of chemistry between them um, that was great fun to play. Izzy's amazing, um, but you have a little crackle of chemistry with her too, yeah, which I don't see because if I did, I would have been like, oh, why I ought to. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I was just saying that I think, you know, obviously William is the son of Jamie Fraser, so it makes sense that he would fancy fancy Izzy's character because yeah. she's a quite a bit like like Katrina's character, quite a bit Absolutely. like. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, let me ask this. So, John, we're this we're going to we're on a game show right now. You're the you're competing for the Bachelorette. What are three words to make Ian the the match for for Izzy's character, Rachel? Oh, I think he's wild, ferocious, <laughs> mm. um, and tattooed. 
<laughs> Damn. I love it. Sign me up. I love it. Tattoo. It, all, all girls love the tattoo. So, uh, Charles, um, you're the new kid on the block this season. Congratulations on getting the role of William. So, um, in the books, Diana Gabaldon emphasizes uh, William's similarities to his biological father, Jamie. Was there anything about Sam's performance in particular that you intentionally mimicked or you tried to emulate or maybe anything from David? Yeah, 100 percent. I think um, there's definitely some mannerisms that, that William has that, that Jamie also has. Um, and I think a lot of his personality, his fieriness, his passion um, comes quite a bit from Jamie. Um, I, I do think it's important, though, that that William is his own person. You know, he's not just a, like a copy of one or the other. Um, but the way that I hold myself, my, my mannerisms a lot of the times come from the, the father who actually raised me. Yeah, they better. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the way that I talk, the way I hold myself, you I know, you well. He did teach me well. You pick up on He's a good dad. He's a good dad. Very disappointed if you didn't have good men. He's a very nice. He's he good has two. Men. He has two very strong men. So that's that's amazing. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time and congratulations once again on Outlander season seven. Outlander season seven premieres on Stars June sixteenth. Once again, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, we have a question. What's um, gold buckle. What is that? <laughs> Big gold belt media. Actually, I'm doing this for a friend. So he has this. You don't even know. Even know. <laughs> so he was like, hey, you want to interview them? And I'm like, uh, I get to meet these guys. Uh, yeah, thank you. I don't care if I have to wake up this early in California. I'm going to do well, it. We're waiting for our big gold belt. Yeah, I want to be gold belt. There we go.